right, before I start messing with you guys, this is really important for me. Make some noise for all the people behind the scenes that work hard to make this happen. Seriously, your judges, Marshall, the owner, your bartender back there, don't be stingy either. God damn right. And this is also a very special show for me because my mom and aunt are here. And seriously, they don't give a fuck about stand-up comedy. So this is like, seriously, they're from Bogota, Colombia, okay? Like, they grew up in a time and a place where if your best friend got kidnapped by the cartel, you went out there, hit the streets, and found a new best friend, right? Like, that makes you hard, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's really nice that they're here, and, like, they're very supportive. But, my, like, my parents are divorced. Like, not, my father isn't. He's like, it's bullshit that you're a comedian, but at least you're not in prison, right? Like, what? Then my mom, like I say, she's tough. So she's like, Brian, don't listen to your dad. Prison would make you hilarious. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, that's a weird argument, right? But my dad, like, some of us run fast, some of us jump high. My dad's a dick. Like, that's his thing. <laughs> he's dying of lung cancer. And he's like, Brian, chemotherapy doesn't make me throw up, but your jokes do. Like, damn, you said that instead of I love you? Like, damn. But the, my favorite thing he ever said to me, he's like, when you come over to my house, you're not allowed to Tinder. Because what if a girl comes over and steals my stuff? Like, Things must have been real different in the 80s, because if you have sex with me, you can take anything you want in my parents' living room. That's not stealing. It's not even close to stealing. And if you're super hot, rent a U-Haul, bring Mexicans, and go crazy, because daddy going to refurnish the whole place. Like, literally, on my Tinder bio, I put, do you need a flat screen TV? Like, get right to the point. My second picture is a picture of his grandfather clock, because that bitch is nice different demographics you know what i'm saying like if i do it right i can get laid on black friday for like 89.95 you know what i'm saying <laughs> and yeah you can get a flat screen for cheaper but no one's getting laid for vizio all right when comedy's going well it's tough though the hardest thing i've ever done but i've gotten to the point where i make all my money off comedy acting and airbnb in my apartment right so it's getting better things are getting better because Airbnb is awesome, you guys. It is like Tinder for your place. Like, I know who's fucking in my bed every single night. Like, it's awesome. Like, I get to pick and choose. People bid on my place. Like, right now, there are two gay dudes standing in my place, and they are awesome. They started an architecture company. They big into yoga. Like, these are the kind of guys that have sex and get right back to emails, and that's what I'm looking for. You know what I mean? I don't want anyone experimenting in my bed. I don't want anyone losing their virginity. No way. There's not enough sage in the world going to burn that mojo out. <laughs> no way. I don't you stick in your thumb where it's never been. Save that for a Motel 6, okay? Like, not my place. Like, when I see couples, I immediately know if I'd let them have sex in my place. Like, you two for sure. You two for sure. There would be extra G-force because you're a big dude. But, yeah, like, these, these guys for sure. Are you guys a couple? I hope so because I would totally let you guys have sex. It would cost you $165 a night, but I would totally let you – and I know this because it's like these guys right here that I picked out, I don't know about you. You might experiment a little bit. But it's like these guys right here, they have two good sexual moves. They're just like me. They have sex move A and sex move B. They ain't trying sex move C because they don't know what's going to happen. And that's what I'm looking for. It's like you can come on my sheets. That's fine. But if you come on my walls, you're an asshole. <laughs> you're a piece of shit. Nobody wants to sleep next to come on the wall. Like you're not doing that on purpose. There's no way. Uh, but it's not all fun and games, okay? I had these three lesbian girls from Argentina stay in my place. Oh, my God. They were a mess. Destroyed my place. They didn't know how to make the tub go down, so the whole place smelled like a swamp. Like, it was crazy. They bought a cat when they were on vacation. Like, who does that? Like, nobody does that. That's not a real thing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so horrible. And they stole all my really nice towels, which I stole from really nice hotels. So it's a vicious cycle. Oh, my God. That being said, they were fine, like super fine, you know? So I imagine they were just having beautiful lesbian love all over my apartment, so I left them a five-star review because I'm the bitch of the story, all right? I'm the bitch. Take you guys to Chinatown on this one. Um, you guys are awesome. My mom and I were having a conversation. This is literally a brand-new thing from yesterday. I had this bully growing up. His name was Jacob. Total asshole. Right, total piece of thing. You know, he had a beard at like six years old and a cocktail here, you know? Really weird. But then he grew up and his legs grew into his penis. It was like backwards. But, but, he, but he was always like, uh, he was always like, I'm so gifted because I'm born on Christmas. I'm so gifted because I'm born on Christmas. And my mom, in a passing, she's like, Did you know that Jacob was adopted? Like, what? I just searched him out on Facebook and I let him know that technically he is re gifted. So he needs to not say that ever fucking again. 
You guys are awesome. I'm Brian Moreno. Thank you all so very much. Which one of you is Brian's mom? Holy shit. <laughs> you raised your hand, too. <laughs> your mom? Wow, two of my favorite things from Columbia came. Yeah, you and coffee. <laughs>